Hello and welcome to the introduction tutorial to TweenGMS for GameMaker Studio 2. In this lesson we are going to look at the installation and setup of TweenGMS. The first thing we want to do is to get TweenGMS from the GameMaker Marketplace. So select Marketplace, Open Marketplace. From here go to the Search the Marketplace box and type in TweenGMS. Then select the returned result. From here, for me it says download for Studio 2, but for you, you should it should say add to account. So click that and get it tied to your GameMaker Studio account to follow that process. And once that's done, we'll close the marketplace. Then we're going to go to, want to go to extensions, right click, add existing library from my library. From here, find tween GMS in the list of assets. If you have not done so already, click the download button and once that's done click import and we will wait for that to extract from here press add all then import there we now have tween GMS added to our project we see that we have the tween GMS scripts we also have the object share tweener object. This is the object which runs tween GMS automatically. Do not create this object manually. Do not use instance create with it. Do not add it to your room. Tween GMS will automatically create this when it is needed. So do not even worry about placing this anywhere in your project. There's also some included files for documentation, such as a starter guide, a script reference. Um, there's a link to demo projects you can check out. I highly recommend that. Uh, there's also a text file showing you which scripts are safe to delete from tween GMS if you want to strip it down and make it more lean and clean. All right, well, let's go ahead and verify that this is working. Let's create a test object uh, to test this out. But before we do that, let's make a, a script, um, a sprite, a basic sprite. Let's just make a red square here for a quick test. And let's make its origin, middle, center. And then let's go ahead and make a test object. We'll assign it this sprite. And what we're going to do to test this, we're going to use one of Tween GMS's uh, Tween Easy scripts. These are scripts which are convenient for new users to Tween GMS. Uh, they cover um, basic functionality such as easing uh, an object's position or image alpha or their image angle or direction. So for this test, we're going to uh, have this object move from its current location to the mouse cursor position. We're going to ease between those two positions. To do that, we're going to add a new event. We're going to add uh, mouse event. We're going to do uh, global left released. From here, we're going to use one of our tween easy scripts. We're going to use tween easy move. As you can see down here, we can see some of the arguments that this is going to take. The first parameter is the x starting position. We'll use the object's current position, x. Then the y starting position, we'll use the y. The x destination, we'll use mouse x. And the destination y, we'll use mouse y. Uh, this is a delay that we want. Uh, this, we can use this parameter to delay the start of a tween. In this case, we don't want to delay it, so we'll put 0. Uh, now we have the duration. The duration is is the time in steps um, of how long we want the animation to play out. In this case, we're just going to put this at 30, which will be about one second if you're running your room at 30 frames per second. Now we need to use a, 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 um, an easing script. Uh, I'll go into further detail and further videos on the different easing scripts, but in this case, we're going to use one called ease in out quad. There's also a mode parameter, which is optional, um, but we're not going to use this in this. We can finish a script without it, and that will be covered further in, uh, in other videos. So there we go. We have this tween easy move script uh, all done, and uh, all we need to do is add this object to uh, this room. And then we can go ahead and press play and test out verify that tween GMS is working and if all is well we should have this square easing between its current position and the mouse position so here's our test project now I'm going to click and there we go we have our square happily moving between both positions being eased 
with, with a single line of code, just like that. All right, well, thank you for very much for watching this. Uh, I look forward to you following along with further tutorials for TweenGMS. Thank you.